I love you, Poppy. I love you, love you, love you, Poppy. I got my eye on you. I can't get enough of Drake. I just love him. Hey, it's Marie Forleo, and you are watching Marie TV, the place to be to create a business and a life that you love. And you know what? A while back, we tested out a new segment here on Marie TV called. In this segment, we highlight a brand that just gets it from their design to their messaging all the way through to the product. And today, we are highlighting a company that is making a huge stink in the marketplace. Yes, I am talking about the miraculous Poopery. Now, while I could go on for hours deconstructing all of the things Poopery is doing right because I love them so much, we're only going to focus on three smart strategies so that you can take these ideas and use them in your business. Smart strategy number one is know your poo crew. So remember what I've been teaching you here on Marie TV for ages? If you're talking to everybody, you're talking to nobody. Now, in theory, they could market to everyone since everyone poos, but they don't. They're smarter than that. They know exactly who their poo crew is. Take a look. From their visual assets to their copy, they talk directly to a glamorous or glamour appreciating youngish woman who thinks poop is hilariously funny. I mean, who doesn't? Right, ladies? Oh, that's right. It was funny. <laughs> Here is a subtle but advanced poo crew targeting technique that is really worth paying attention to. Take a look. They never waver from talking to this one woman. Yes, they have products for guys. Yes, they have products for parents. And yes, they have products for pets. Check it out. Pooch Puri. But they didn't say, oh, wait. Let's make her a 40-something mom with teenage boys at home. No, they stick to this one silk rope wearing customer and they rely on her to spread the word to the pepperoni loving frat boys down the street. Now you should be asking yourself, do you know who your poo crew is? Smart strategy number two, don't give a crap about everybody else. I mean, not many business owners have the courage to have a brown trout lying at the bottom of a bowl on their homepage. Why? Because a lot of people could get offended by something like that, but not poopery. They think all those people can just go flush it. Poopery is practicing what I lovingly call sales prevention. So they are repelling the people that would be truly stinky pains in the butts anyway. They don't care about not being liked. They poop on that idea. They're going for the person who's absolutely going to love seeing a cartoon dookie surrounded by fumes and toxic skulls. Bottom line, and yes, it's a tweetable. If you want a fresh brand, don't give a crap about someone who thinks you stink. Smart strategy number three is spray your brand scent everywhere. Now here's the good news. All of us have so many opportunities to create an outstanding customer experience. But the bad news is most of them go overlooked and left hanging there, kind of like dingleberries. So let's take the FAQ page for instance. <laughs> most people think of the FAQ page as kind of like the butt crack of their site, the place that nobody looks. But I got to tell you, you need to think again. What I love about Poopery is they never miss an opportunity to pile on the personality. And nowhere do they shine brighter than in their copy, the words they use throughout their site, especially in places where the sun usually don't shine. Here are two examples of about a bazillion. First, check out their stink-free money-back guarantee. So this line does double duty. It's funny and it's clever, but it's also a mnemonic device, which is brilliant marketing. Research shows that rhyming phrases are perceived as more truthful and accurate, which can mean the difference between gaining a sale and losing a customer. Number two, check out their FAQ page. Now you really do have to read the whole page because it's hilarious, but this is the line that really stood out to me. Q, a trustworthy friend swore to me that poopery is made of four parts Atlantis saltwater, two parts Bermuda Triangle air, and one part unicorn pee. Is that true or do I need a new friend? A, do you smell that? It's your friend's pants on fire. Though its powers may seem magical, poopery is the real stink fighting deal. 
as you can see, they do an outstanding job with their copy. It's all on brand and it's smeared everywhere. Now, copy is one of the things that I love most in the world. And as you can see, Poopery does an incredible job. They're really a brilliant example of how powerful the right words can be. Now, unfortunately, this is a place where a lot of business owners struggle. So if you want to learn how to inject more fun into your copywriting, come on over and visit thecopycure.com. I would be happy to help. Now, these three strategies are just the turtle head of what Poopery is doing brilliantly. Now, Poopery, if you're listening, here's a tip from 1991. We think you should make this your phone number. 1-900-976. Do do. It's time to turn the focus back to you. Now, as always, insight without action is worthless. So, which one of these three smart strategies do you need to focus on in your business? And what's one action you can take right now to bring it into life? Now, as always, the best discussions happen after the episode over at marieforleo.com. So, go there and leave your comment now. Like this video? If so, subscribe and share it with all of your friends. And if you want even more great resources to create a business and life that you love, plus some personal insights from me that I only get to talk about in email, come on over to marieforleo.com and sign up for email updates. Stay on your game and keep going for your dreams because the world needs that special gift that only you have. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on Marie TV. I'm not, I don't love poo in that way. Like, it's not some weird poo fetish, so don't get any strange ideas and don't send me any websites. It's 10 a.m. or 10 p.m. Where's your poo crew?